See, I found another limitation with DLives is the way that you can't route groups to groups and auxiliaries to auxiliaries. So it's the same type channel can't be routed to itself. Um, this is only an issue in limited cases, but say I wanted to do a, a whole band bus and I want my vocals to compress the whole band bus so it's always poking through. If I go to surface, mix, and drag another stereo group in here, you'll notice that I can't route another group to this group. Only inputs, effects return, DCAs, and then assigning it to a mute group. So there's a bit of a workaround that you need to do this, but it's pretty simple. So what we're gonna do is come to surface. We're going to pull up mix and we're gonna make a stereo auxiliary. On said stereo auxiliary, we're gonna call this band through, come into the routing section, come up to group, and we are going to send our crush at zero dB post fader. We're not gonna send our box. Drums, zero dB post fader instrument 0 dB post fader then we're going to come back to our group we're going to come to processing external in and this is going to be set as stereo aux one band through so now our instrument groups oh, these three here are going through this auxiliary and then they're returning back to this group and now we can do our processing on here so let's say we want a dynate and I want to set the external key source to a mono aux oh, sorry not a mono aux a mono group our vocal group apply and let's say this band here we want this range to compress whenever the vocals sing. Instead of self here, we set it as external. And now we can dial the threshold in to suit, uh, to compress this um, uh, frequency range whenever the vocals sing. And as long as it's unmuted, oh, let's click back on that. As long as it's unmuted, you can just get rid of this channel um, off your surface as it's just a pass through. If you so need, you can do any processing on it, but I just leave it blank just so there's not a hidden channel with things going on. Cool. So we're gonna label this band. Benefit of doing things this way is that you have your standard processing on your channels. Then you have your group processing and you have your entire band processing so you can change the balance between just your vocal and band with two separate faders so you can have any compress compressors or dynamic EQs and so on and so forth and then you can also have your master fader and set any um, processing on this as you deem fit and because you have multiple levels of processing you can do less compression for instance in each layer and um, but still control things without th things sounding over compressed. And another thing just to note um, is your routing to front of house. Um, you click on your uh, main uh, left right here, come into routing and make sure that your channels themselves are unrouted from front of house like this. Otherwise they will go to front of house as well as through the groups. And we don't want that. That's if you're using your groups as um, processing groups and not um, parallel groups, in which case you can leave these routed to front house. Yeah, we'll leave the tracks for now. But then you need to make sure you come into your groups and assign your groups to front house. Now, we do want our vocal group assigned, but we don't actually want to assign our crush drums and instrument groups because they're going through the band group. So we keep those unassigned only assign our vocal and our band group. So that means the only th channels that are going to front of house besides our effects currently are 
our vocal group and our band group. So if you mute your band group, it's going to mute all of your channels, uh, all of your instrument channels. So drums, bass, guitar, upstage and downstage, and it's going to leave your vocals. And if you just mute vocals, it will obviously just mute your vocal group. 